money, fame, power. Lucky you can pick a lot, Popsky. Yeah, I've got a lot of skills I've not shown you, Master. Yes, not least cooking a decent pie and sweeping the floor efficiently. You can't be nice even at Christmas, can you? I am being nice, just not to you. I'm saving a soul. Ah, Miss Effie, you look marvellous. Uh, Mr Kemp, ready to give us your young green? <laughs> nah, nah, bah, bacon and bungie. <laughs> just keep your back to him and say nothing. This is all about Miss Effie. Do you think I should kiss her? I reckon I should kiss her, since we're sweethearts. I should definitely kiss her. May I remind you, Kemp, that this is a safe space work environment with a rigid code of practice on harassment. Even if I claim later it was done ironically and in a spirit of banter. Touch me once and you'll be wearing your scroting sack as a cravat. So no kiss then. Mm. Probably better. Leave it in the subtext. Uh, Mr. Condell, you ready? I suppose so, although I'm still not happy about having to play the ghost of Christmas past while you give the leading female role to an amateur, and worse, a real girl. <laughs> I've told you, Mr Condell, Bessie's just a support part. The ghost is the lead female role. But why must I wear this childish wig and silly dress? It's most unflattering. It's not a silly dress, it's a 14th century nightgown. You wear it and the childish wig because you are a ghost, and it is an absolute rule of every age that unless otherwise stated, all ghosts are represented by spooky little girls dressed in antique night attire. <laughs> Don't know why, just is. Now get out there and get haunting. Mark me, Mr. Green. Mark me. What? Who are you, child? What want you with me? I am the ghost of Christmas past, come to show you the shadows of what has been. And action. Another Cambridge Christmas. Ha ha! Let all be merry, for I am master here, and I demand good ale, good victuals, and good cheer for all. Do you recognise this place? It is my old college, and is that fizzy, busy, tizzy, wizzy wig, my old master? The light is dim. It's hard to see it, but oh, how I wished were true such fun I had. And what do you see now, Mr. Green? Why, is it? Can it be my Bessie? How beautiful, how exquisite. Personally, I'm disappointed. No character, no depth. Stick to the script, Condell. But it's such a shame, and I'd so wanted her to be good. See now, who is it, sweet Bessie Spurls? Be gone, you miserable miser. Good day. <laughs> it is mine own younger self. She weeps. My Bessie weeps. Bessie has rejected you because you were cruel. You lost her through your greed. Well, actually, a little bit more to it than that. Very much faults on both sides. I mean, I admit she did complain about me being ambitious, but I honestly think it was all about her wanting me to focus on her. And she was quite clingy by that, a little bit needy, which at first I found endearing, but eventually became really suffocating. Uh, you know, she'd be jealous if I went out with my mates. She was always asking me what I was thinking, which, which I hated. <laughs> She was angry about something instead of just having it out. She, she'd go into these long sulks, which is really draining. Better wind it up, Mr. Condell. Yes, he is rather hogging the action. <laughs> the light grows dark. The vision fades. Look your last upon your beloved Bessie and consider what you have lost. Mm, no, I honestly think splitting up was the right thing. I mean, we could have gone on torturing each other for a year or two, but it was never going to work long term. Hmm.